Hi everybody, it's Kimberly. So I was not going to come back so soon, um, but I did feel the Masters um, series needed to be posted today. I just felt like messages were pulling at me, like my guides and some of the Archangels were kind of coming in all throughout the day. So I didn't make this in the morning, but it is now the afternoon on Sunday afternoon and I'm going to be posting this soon. So this will be like a quick messages from the master series. Um, I don't know exactly what's going to come through, but I do have a feeling that there's something uh, very important that they want to convey to the collective. So um, I'll just roll with it through the automatic writing and then we'll pull some cards just to clarify and to confirm those messages. Okay, so um, let me just get started here. So they're talking about the number four. Um, this is actually the body. I don't know if you guys could figure that out. Um, this feels like a, a yoga stance um, where you're making the triangle from your hip. Uh, and this is your knee and this would be your foot pressing against the standing leg and this is sort of your arms um in like a, a, a bent up position like this going towards the body almost in like a triangle towards the body with a bent at the elbow um you know obviously <laughs> you have um, another arm over here Maybe it's both arms or like this, but they keep showing me that number four, but more in this way. Um, so not like I wrote it here, more like this. Um, they're talking about, you know, angles and triangles. Um, and the, these positions with the body right now are really going to calibrate the body. They're asking us to attune to the number four. And let me see what the message is around that. Okay, <clears throat> oops, I put that on the fluidity. All right guys, so this is what they're saying. I, I heard angular cuts or just whatever, I, maybe I didn't hear it, I guess it just came through me. Angular cuts, precision, the landscape of the body. So there's angular formations. They're talking about the, the precise angles. The landscape of the body, we need to lock in we're, they're saying that we're too fluid. There's a disconnect. That's what how I felt it. Um, the angles are hinges, and they equal connection, and then the fluidity comes. So they're saying that we're disconnected uh, in our bodies. 
So I don't know if there's been like a call to yoga for some of you. It's just sort of came over me in the past even week or so. And um, I used to teach, I don't know if you guys know, but I used to like teach dance and Pilates and fitness. And I would hybrid some yoga into some of those classes and stuff. But I've never been like a huge yogi. I like to meditate. I, I've never really loved yoga. But to be honest with you, I've just found myself all week in yoga poses um, and it just feeling so good. So I, I think it's it's something about this getting into the body. It's something about the angular connection, the hinges, helping us under, like It's almost like a reminder of the connection, I think, of getting into our body and how we are all. We almost have to remember how we're all connected first and then let the fluidity and the continuity of our oneness and our emotions and our chakras kind of circulate and radiate. But they're saying what's happening is like we're too fluid right now and there's a disconnect. And for some reason, these four shapes or these angular shapes are going to help us um, center ourselves, find our balance, and calibrate is what I hear. So if you guys are seeing fours or triangles um, or fours in this way, if you're feeling the call to yoga, like this is all very connected. Um, let me see what else they say. Sometimes the overarching themes that come through here are so, they're so grand that it's like I get them inside of myself, but it's not always easy to articulate it to you guys and do them the best I can. Um, okay. All right, let's see what else comes. They're also talking about this sequence for whatever reason. It's it's a series of fours. I, I, th I feel like what they're saying is it doesn't matter how many fours, but there's a three at the end. Um, so it could be like six fours, four fours, three fours, but there's a three at the end of the sequence. And they're saying like there is a, um, there's a code here. Um, and the code feels like the frequency of universal love. Um, you just sit with that for a second. Um, I left an L off here. They're saying, they're talking about what we deem, that word deem, deem as love. Um, what we deem as love. It forsakes is what they're saying. Um, but they're saying you can't forsake anyone with love. Like this is about universal love. This is about, this is a oneness code. This is love for all. Like not, there's, there's no one... This is about the frequency of um, universal love, love that's carried. It feels like in an embodiment. And the embodiment is not connected to the ego it's connected to the soul self so it's where love is embodied like as connected to the soul self the expansive self the divine self and they're seeing like we have to detach from the ego um where it's kind of been a branch or a tributary in the past you know I think we're learning how to just disconnect that from the ego 
and they're seeing like that's really necessary like there's no there's no more deeming anything as love everything is love <laughs> um, everybody is love it doesn't necessarily mean that everyone is light it means that we're all dark and we're all light um but everything is love um all right let's see what else so that if you see those numbers let me get a better eraser here i'll be right back So if you're seeing those number patterns, it could be, it's just anything with the repeating fours and then a three at the end. It's about that universal love. Um, they have other patterns they wanna show me now. Okay, they're talking about 11, seven, seven, double one, double seven, six. Um, you might see this as one, seven, six. You might see it as one, 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 seven, seven, six. You might see it as one, 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 seven, 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 six. But there's there's something about that singular number at the end. It's some sort of a code. And the code is about, um, they're saying it's about reinvention. Um, it's, I hear ingenuity. So there's something that we're being prompted to create. This is very much around our ideas. So if you see these codes and you've, you've got something that you want to create or you're inspired to create, something that you're reinventing to respond or inventing, invention, reinventing, um, to respond to this sort of like new earth paradigm. Um, these, this is a code that can help you go further, deeper into that. Wow, I've never done this before with the numbers, so this is totally new for me, you guys. Okay, so they're talking about the three, two, three, two, one. So these are master numbers. Um, let me just see what they say about this. About the master. Okay, this is an ascension code. They're talking about, they said the words ready to go, ready to leave, not like leave the planet, but just, it just, I heard that this is an ascension code. Um, so you might see it as three, two, one, or three, two, three, two, one, but you're gonna get that three, two repeating and then the one. Um, And it's interesting because, you know, the three, two, one is kind of like when we count down, you know, like in a literal physical sense, like kind of when we count down, like three, two, one, blast off, right? And they're saying ready to go, ready to leave. And there's something about this. That, like I said, there's some big disclosure coming in, uh, in August and NASA, there's something about the space program and there's some big disclosure coming around the moon. I've said this before, um, a couple of readings ago, a couple of channelings ago, and there's something about that rocket, three, two, one, blast off. Um, there's something about this being a code, like huge awakening code, awakening code, like bigger than uh, 1111 is what I'm hearing big awakening ascension code. And I think in like a very literal sense, there's this embedded in it, this three, two, one, but there's some, there's some frequency here with these master numbers that's helping us awaken um, and lift off, go to that next level, right? In our consciousness. So you might be seeing these patterns, you might have seen them, you might start seeing them they're very specific though there's not 
it seems like it's the repeating numbers and then that one variation at the end. Um, that's the code. <clears throat> um, let's see what else they say. I wasn't expecting. I've never, like I said, you guys watch, you, most of you watch me or these segments a lot and I've never really gotten the number codes like that. So, okay, what else? Going back to the body, they want to draw that figure again. I don't know where the other arm is. Let's just put it out. Okay, they're pointing me to the center, like to the sternum. And then to, this is like what I call the golden star or solar plexus. We're talking about the pineal gland. We're talking about the light bodies below the feet. And the light bodies above the head. Okay. And I'm being shown that this is the code that we just saw. which, you know, we don't view the chakras in this way, right? Because we usually read them, you know, obviously this is not a chakra coding. This is something about an activation within the body. And it feels like it's, um, you know, I, I don't know really where it begins, to be honest with you. I feel like it could go like this okay I feel like it could go this way or it could go this way and that's why they're showing me the light bodies the light illuminas below the feet and above the head there's something here about aligning the pineal gland with the sternum where like the heart is just right in the center of the chest with the golden star chakra on the solar plexus. Um, there's, a, there's a big activation in our body. This is why we're being asked to find this balance. Yoga is going to be a big thing. Yoga is going to get huge. Yoga is already huge, but more people are going to gravitate towards yoga. Um, Yeah, let's go over to the cards and see what they say on the cards. <clears throat> Sandalphon's coming through. He's saying, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, such situations and environments. I feel that. I feel like this is you needing to be still, you needing to be quiet, you needing to find your balance, find your center. Okay, nothing abrasive, nothing harsh right now. This is like really softening your environment, really softening yourself too. Like I feel you being strong and centered from within, but like soft from without, gentle with yourself, quiet. I keep feeling quiet, stillness. Okay, there's something here, brilliant idea. Archangel Uriel, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. 
This could be that code that I was showing you before with the ingenuity, invention, you know, if you're working on something, if you have something in your mind of saying, you know, don't hesitate. Like this is in reverse because maybe you're hesitating on it. Um, use those codes to help you and it's time to, you know, start to think about taking that action and maybe this taking a softer approach is necessary too. So you're not like charging ahead. You're not going after it. Remember, we're not creating in the same way that we were before the pandemic. We're creating in a whole new way. We're creating from the heart. So even your action steps are gonna be different than they were three months ago, six months ago, a year ago, yeah? Oh, and we have comfort in reverse and it's Archangel Azrael. So she's saying I'm with you in your time of need, um, helping you and your heart to heal. Again, this is really about getting getting to a place of comfort within yourself, I feel. Um, you know, there can be this feeling of too much energy surging through. We really need to find that that balance. This is also the comfort of just owning yourself all the way. And this kind of came through in my most recent reading, but um, just being comfortable all the way in your full light and your own light within yourself, like being totally self-accepting, being totally like, this is why I feel like we're really going within that yoga, that feeling of like doing yoga, meditating, oneness with all, fully accepting ourselves, fully healing like the separation within us getting really at home within ourselves. And again, this is like that golden star chakra that I did the meditation on uh, about a week ago. I am going to grab the Ascended Masters. Oh, the Ascended Masters deck. Okay, Twin Flames as I cut the deck. So they're saying focus upon your strengths. There's a lot of yellow and orange energy here, you know, and some blue. This feels like, you know, that golden center. This is about what you bring to this new earth, to this up-leveled paradigm, um, you know, and how your strength is so unique and that it's, it's time for you, I feel like, to shine your light, to stand all the way in your light. And, and don't focus on the lack or what you're not, but just truly what you are and how you uniquely can help the collective at this time. Fertility, again, that's something that we're creating or something new being born or something new that's being birthed. And, um, this is really a great time to have that connection with not only what you want to create for your future, but also the good of the collective, how you're going to serve that type of creation energy. There's a lot of, um, I feel like just ingenu ingenuity, invention, um, ideas, it might be time for you to like recreate your future in terms of how you were seeing it six months ago, three months ago versus now. Um, yeah, so get out in nature too because that's gonna help you um, really nourish your ideas and your creativity. There's positive change coming for sure and that's Paravati. I feel like a lot of this positive change is by going within and also giving ourselves permission to stand fully in our true light. And another card popped out and it's trust, Vishnu. So Vishnu is in reverse. He's saying, don't don't forget to just trust. Like you, you've you got to trust that as you step into your full light, full expression, as you nurture some of these ideas that you have that you know the, the positive change is gonna come. We don't have to be so focused on goals and outcome right now. We have to be focused on creation and authenticity authenticity and creation creation and authenticity yeah um 
Okay, so let's get a reading a read on the um, Ascension energy. So this is the Ascension deck by Diana Cooper. Just pull one card from this deck. Lord Kuthumi, a lot of reversals here coming up in reverse. So, Lord Kuthumi. Lord Kuthumi is a world teacher in his incarnations as St. Francis, Shah Jahan, who built the Taj Mahal, and Melchior, one of the wise men. Lord Kuthumi practiced harmlessness, love, and wisdom. These energies are encapsulated in this card. So, you are encouraged to spread knowledge and spiritual truths to others with humility and inspiration. Be ready to learn, for Lord Kuthumi is drawing your attention to something important. He is a member of the Brotherhood of the Golden Robe, those who take in and transmute the pain of the world. If you are sensitive to energies, ask him to wrap you in his light. I'm open to learning and teaching. So this is about you transmuting some of the heaviness on the planet into your own methods of teaching and uplifting and inspiring the collective, okay? I feel like a lot of these codes are here to help us bring this all into um, our awareness first and then to help us shift our focus into the right places, like away from the ego, away from the goals, away from the, you know, like the fixation on the future timelines and more just into the act of creating, standing in our full light, our full expression um, oneness, oneness with ourselves, oneness um, in our body, mind, spirit, oneness with all in the collective. And let's just get, pull a frequency card, activation card. Hmm. Two want to come out. So we have... <clears throat> healing and discernment. So take in those frequencies. So healings in reverse, discernment is upright. The healing is 29, discernment is 20. Numbers on the cards. The frequency of healing supports our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly. Oh yeah. This is up, this is up because I've been doing this. I've been doing this and this must be up for everyone because this is really about using your intuition to heal yourself. This is really about you are your own doctor. You are your own spiritual advisor. You really do have all the knowledge. We're just programmed to seek outside of ourselves, right? So that's really, really, really important. Um, discernment, the frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment, yet compassion and wisdom. So that reminds me of when I was um, doing the automatic writing and they were showing us, um, you know, like not forsaking anyone or deeming this one worthy of love or that one not worthy of love. They're saying, stay in your center remain in your own balance find your oneness and your truth from within then you're going to be able to compassionately share and exchange energy and love all right without feeling taxed or pulled at or feeling like you're victimized or manipulated right like it all starts within you and that balance within you okay so I'm going to leave you guys with that. I feel like that's complete for today. Um, actually, I'll look at the bottom of the decks real quick. The bottom of the frequency deck is emergence. So it's interesting. As I was shuffling, I saw this card. caught my eye. I knew that this might reemerge. And here it is, emergence. Um, this invites you to approach your reality with a childlike attitude of innocence, wonderment, and to watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds from that place. This is also about reemerging a new right? Like, like the full card, like with childlike eyes, enthusiasm. This is about where our ideas come from as we're looking at the world with new eyes now. 
and we are getting ready for um, to emerge. We are. I, I see that happening. Maybe some of the quarantine stuff being lifted like gradually in a literal sense now and through the summer or through May, June, July, but really see this emergence happening in um, like August, September um, time frame. The bottom of the Ascension deck is Lord Maitreya. Um, so this is pure white energy, great white brotherhood. Um, this is all about integrity and high intention. So it's, they are asking you to, to purify your mind, purify your thoughts, purify your intentions. They're asking you to um, uh, be the example of right living. Your light is how, you know, you light the way for others, right? So this also could be about um, that ascension code that I was giving you guys, right? And they're asking you, he's asking you, Lord Maitreya, to to be the purest version of yourself, right? To that that is how we uplift all, okay? Bottom of the um can I think <laughs> the the bottom of the Archangel's deck career transition again in reverse, Archangel Chamuel. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. I feel like this is in reverse cuz it may not be time yet, but you already know it's happening, you already know it's coming. It's going to be happening. You're working on it. You know, um, and I feel like the message is you don't need to worry about this. Like it's going to naturally happen and naturally evolve for you. Um, there's no egoic like drive, ambition, looking, seeking, searching that you need. You need to align with yourself. You need to go within. You need to become one. You need to find that home within yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Nurture your ideas and then this transition will happen more fluidly, more naturally, more organically. And the bottom of the Ascension deck is <clears throat> Amaterasu, and this has come out of the closet. So this could be, like I keep saying, stand in your full light. This might be stepping more into your gifts, going more into your true calling, your true purpose, or even your spiritual gifts, your psychic gifts. Um, and really like letting it be known that you are not just a one dimensional being, you're a multi-dimensional being and you're so tapped in and you have so many talents and gifts. And now it's your time to stand fully in your light and shine your light. So I hope that's been helpful. You guys, if anyone wants to, um, still sign up for my priestess program in beginning June 2nd, there's two spots left. They're filling up fast. Um, I'm going to have to close out the program either when it fills or by the end of this week. So make sure you check that out. I'll link it below. Um, and you can work with me in private session or a book a reading, um, by going to my website. I'll put that link below as well as the May discount codes for sessions. All right, you guys, happy Sunday. Hope you're having, I hope you had a great weekend or you're having a great weekend and I'll see you next week. Okay. Take care. Bye.